السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ کمپلیٹلی نیو سیکشن دیٹ از اباؤٹ الیکٹریسٹی اینڈ میگنیٹزم سو آل آف یو نو ویری ویل دیٹ الیکٹروسٹیٹکس از اے برانچ آف فزکس دیٹ ڈیلس وتھ charges at rest or systems systems at electrostatic equilibrium means acceleration is zero they might be moving but very slowly okay so the fundamental quantity on which whole electrostatics is based is charge so what is actually charge where from it comes so it is origin is atom atoms are the fundamental particles of the matter and atom consists of nucleus and a electron and inside nucleus there are proton this is center part of the this is nucleus and a nucleus contains protons and a neutron and a electron has negative charge and electron revolve around the nucleus and the electron has nu- negative charge the proton has positive charge and electron has negative charge as a whole atom it is neutral neutral atom means number of electrons equal number of proton and the charge of electron that is e negative that is 1 point negative 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the charge of proton that is positive that is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so both particles have same charge they can carry same charges therefore as a neutral atom it has no charge but how we charge an object so we can charge an object by rubbing for example if we have a glass rod and we rub it with a slick cloth so actually what happens electron is very light particle whenever we charge a particle only transference of electron takes place takes place because proton is very heavy particle and it is inside the nucleus and it cannot transfer from one material to another material but 
electron can easily be transferred from one material to other material so whenever we rub this glass rod with this silk cloth what happens that the electron from glass transfer to the silk cloth as a result what happens positive charge is built on this rod glass glass rod so as many electrons transfer from this glass rod so equal negative charges are built up on this glass rod so as a result both materials gain same amount of charge this silk cloth gains equal, same number of negative charges as this glass rod carry positive charges so both have same number of electron and other has same number of positive charge okay so now what happens that now we have we have transferred electrons we don't have created charge charge is a conserved quantity charge can be only transferred from one material to other material but it can neither it is a conserved quantity so we say that now this glass rod has become positive charge and uh, this glass rod and uh, this cloth piece has become negative now they will attract each other there will be attraction between them they will attract each other so there will be attraction between them they will exert force on each other so that property of the material due to which they exert force on each other that we call as a charge so charge is actually fundamental property of the matter matter due to which it exerts force on other matter okay so we say that charge is a conserved quantity also because equal number of charges are created on this rod and equal number of negative charges are created on this silk cloth so number of charges remain constant so we say that charge is conserved quantity it remains constant so charge is represented by q we say that this is a symbol to represent the charge and the charge is major unit of charge is coulomb okay so further we will define what is one coulomb so before going into the definition of coulomb we must define that charge is a quantized charge is always quantized what is the meaning of quantization quantization means charge come in
Thompson, Little, Chunks, or Units. That are discrete. So charge is not continuous, but it is discontinuous. So we say that charge always comes in fundamental units. That fundamental unit is E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. That is the most fundamental charge that we can find. So this is and uh, other charge. Any amount of charge can come in integral multiple of this smallest charge. So other charge we can say that can be 1e, 2e, 3e up to ne. So we can say that q is equal to ne. Charge can come into integral, integral multiple of this smallest quantity that is charge of electron and that is also charge of proton proton and electron here same charge and uh, there there are also other unit of charge that is esu and uh, one esu is equal to 1 over 3 into 10 raised power 9 half coulomb that is also unit of non SI unit of charge. A body can be charged by rubbing, okay, or it can be charged by induction method. There is also an induction method, for example, in induction method, for example, we have a solid spherical metal or any insulator so if we have a glass rod and a, if we have this glass rod is positive positively charged and if we bring this positively charge near to the this spherical ball so what happens that it is polarized means because it has positive charge so at first it has zero charge but when you bring this near to ball this ball is polarized means this end gets negatively charged and at this end becomes positively charged because this positive charge will push these positive charges away from this end, this near end and these negative charges will be attracted towards the positive charge. So like charges always repel each other. And unlike charges attract each other. Okay. So now what happens it is a whole object still it has zero charges because it has 